Hello, welcome back to yet another city builder. How y'all doing today? One's in the chat. Good day, everyone. Just getting a notification ready to go out for everyone. Now, yesterday we were so busy with the crazy cool Age of Empires 4 beta, or closed stress test, I should say, that uh, I didn't get any time between the two streams to do any giveaway. So after this stream, I'll be dropping our keys for uh, Crisis Remastered for everybody, so make sure you're on there. Good to see you all back. Just sending out a couple notifications so everyone knows that we're live. Since YouTube does a pretty poor job of it. So just give me one moment. And we're almost ready. Well, as always, it's good to see you all back. Especially when we play little city builder games. This one with the twist, we uh, took a look at this game a little earlier. On the channel uh, in a sponsored video. But I like this game enough that I wanted to come back and kind of do a, a full playthrough. It's kind of a little more in-depth playthrough, like uh, Timberborn, too. Timberborn was another game that... Uh, when I played Timberborn, I was like, wow, this game's actually really fun. Peaceful to build with the beavers and stuff. And th this game's kind of the same, too. It's fun to build a city uh, with little dice rolls. If you guys remember uh, Kingdoms Reborn with the whole card deck system, this kind of has somewhat the same thing except it's more about dice rolls. I see it has mixed reviews on Steam, but I'm not sure why. I, just, I enjoyed it, so I wanted to come back and play some more. Good to see you all back. Welcome to all the new members. Thank you very much for uh, spamming that like button. Already up over the hundo. Appreciate that. And welcome to all the new members, too. Let's get in Dice Legacy. Actually, let me uh, fix something on my monitor here. Recently, uh, I don't know what's been going on, but my games keep like starting on the other monitor they keep like trying to go over to the uh, the monitor that I'm not using for whatever reason I don't know oh I see this one oh I see this one had an update and changed the monitor that it was set to I see alright that should be fine Ooh, really good music, though. All right, let's see how this works. Hey, there we go. Cool. There we go. Cool. Well, welcome, everybody, to Dice Legacy. Man, I, I love this 
background. Like this splash screen, I love this art style. The tilt shift art style that makes everything look really small. It looks so nice. I, I, I'd love to see like a third person or a first person game. No, I'd like to see a third person game like this in this kind of art style. Running around, getting into fights, you know, like an RPG type game. You know, a little, little medieval uh, archer or something like that, whatever. Always nice. Always nice indeed. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Would a sledgehammer fix my visual issues? Nope. All good. Now the game just changed my monitor from my primary to a secondary. We're all good. We are all good. All right, I see a lot more people jumping in. We're at the mercy of Steam's, uh, or rather YouTube's, notification system. Steam 2, recently, although it's gotten better, was really bad with like, you know, you do a Steam update for a game, and it'd be like, oh, you downloaded this 40-gig uh, game, and this update is like 244 megabytes. Oh, well, you know, it only takes like less than two minutes to download the update, but it's going to be another like five-minute wait to wait for Steam to like do a whole like scanning of the game. It's like, oh. This game looks pretty, and it's only the menu? Yeah. So if you like Frostpunk, this game has a little bit of elements of Frostpunk in it, where there's, um, you know, like a, a city that's uh, going to be hit by a brutal winter, and if you don't prepare for it, there'll be some consequences for your people. Your people in this case are kind of indicated by dice rolls, so it makes it a little bit interesting, but uh, it's the same as Kingdoms Reborn, where... Uh, in that game, you kind of get cards dealt to you randomly for like an immigration office or a farm or a port or some sort of a trading uh, building. And in this case, it's kind of like random as to whether or not you're going to get workers or builders or soldiers. Makes it a little bit more interesting than just like uh, build city, survive, you know. I mean, those games are perfect and great too. But this adds a little twist to it, a little dice roll. It's good times. Yeah, Timberborn's good. We were just talking about that. Great game. Uh, wow. Paddy Lack, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg. Welcome aboard. Wow. I, I know, I agree. Wow. Thank you very much, everybody, for all the support. Very nice indeed. Bum, bum, bum. I haven't played as the other faction for uh, Timberborn, so we'll go back to that soon, though. I want to play some more Timberborn, Humankind, but now it's time for Dice Legacy. We'll start a new game, then. It looks like in this game, too, there's different scenarios we can play, so... Uh, I guess we got to beat each scenario to play them all. It looks like there's quite a few to go through. But we'll start with Stranded. We've reached the shore of an uncharted continent. We must lead our people and discover what lies ahead. It's a main scenario. Is there any, let's see, is there any sandbox stuff? Hmm, I don't see like a sandbox mode. Maybe it gets unlocked a little bit later if you just want to build a city for fun. Let's see here. I want to make sure I can disappear for the cutscene. Let me fix that. Um. Ah, that's fine. We'll make do. All good. Ready? Begin. Alright, new game. Uh, difficulty. Pacifist. Standard. Legacy. Hard. Extreme. Two replaceable with ascended dice. No ascended dice are present. I think that's like a new game plus type mode. And we'll turn the tutorial off. Uh, into the blizzard. Wagerability treats all frozen dice in pool. Frozen dice lose three durability. Oh, well, this could be interesting. Yeah, I'll, this is a big brain only stream. Only if you have a big brain can you watch this stream because it's going to have a lot of. A lot of, a lot of big brain in it. Let's begin. Low screen tips. Dice Legacy is a peculiar game set in a world where winters are harsh, dangers are many, and mysteries are aplenty. Experiment. Halo? Wow, 
Wow, look at all that mist. Rami, thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Summer begins. All right. So it's your typical city builder with cut down trees, do this, do that. And we shall begin with that. Uh, food crates. Oh, we can, uh, yeah, just like, just like at the start of uh, Frostpunk, there's a bunch of debris and stuff that we can pick up to, uh, start making food and whatnot. What's that little cloud doing there? It's like it's some mist or something. Weird. You really enjoy the video, so why not support you? Well, thank you. It's very nice. Glad to have you in our community. It looks like we're building a cookhouse already by default. Let's finish that. That'll just take a little bit of time. So the thing that all these dice is like types of workers. So like we have soldiers here, but they're not going to really, not going to really do it for us. For building anything, so we can't really use them at the moment. Uh, Nathan, thanks for becoming an egg as well. Welcome. Get down some more trees. So this here is hunting grounds for food. And that's an iron mine. So that'll give us iron. And we'll keep working those debris fields on the beach. So just think of the dice as like asking a group, like a guild of workers to go do something. You have like your laborers, your builders. I'm kind of... I, I don't know the difference between the gear one and the like the... The logging one, like one gathers resources and the other one can like do processing resources. So for example, the one with the gears are like people who work at the mill. As were like the ones with the, uh, like the hammer, the pickaxe and the, and the, uh, axe are actually like working at the, uh, like the raw material gathering. Well, let's build a building. Build a house. We gotta get two workers on that one. I think the other one's a stone mine. Oh yeah. Iron mine there, stone mine there. Okay. Yeah, it's like playing Yahtzee, yeah. Then you can just hit spacebar to re-roll. Helpful. So there's durability on the dice too. We only get so many rolls on the dice until we have to like um, either bring them to the cookhouse to increase their durability, essentially giving them a rest, or we can have more dice in the house by, you know, making little dice babies. It's a really chill city builder, but of course they said brutals are, brutal winters are coming, so we'll have to be on the lookout for that one. What's up, Yahi? How you doing? Welcome back to the Big O streams. Uh, did they lower the strength from the raiding parties? Was a big issue in early stages. Oh, I had no idea you played. I honestly, I haven't gotten to that part. Um, I like this game a lot, so that's why I'm back to play again. So we will see. There have been some updates, I'm sure, since it came out. I'm excited to see. Oh, the stone mines also have a small chance of providing gold. Okay, let's re-roll. Re-roll again. Re-roll again. Keep getting food. So on the left side, it's our materials like food, wood, stone, gold, iron, wheat, ale, and herbs. I can't remember what the herbs are for, though. I can't remember if that's for making beer or if that's making... Oh, I think actually it's uh, for making uh, medicine. Music's really quiet. I'm going to turn all that up. It's really nice. Yeah, that's nice. 
Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we should probably build a new building too. Oh, we could definitely build a wheat farm. Build that there. Okay, we need gears to build that. Anything else I could build? Essential welfare production, manipulation, military buildings, okay. Oh man, all these builders. Oh, right, we need to put uh, dice in here to get more dice, too. Now that the house is ready, we can put two there to get extra dice. This game is mega ultra chill, and also pretty big brain, too. So only chill big brains for this one. Only chill big brains. So we can still gather wheat before we have a mill to process it. We do have to turn the wheat into flour to be used, but we can still harvest and store it for a few seasons. Kind of hard to get through the first winter without... <coughs> having uh, much to do. Ooh, there's like a camp there. Iron mine, then it looks like a raiding camp? Uh-oh. This channel was presented to me by YouTube because I was searching about Raptor engines from SpaceX. Oh, that's cool. Well, welcome. Hopefully you decide to stay. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so the field has been plowed. Let's give one of these dice some provisions so they may continue to work for Raptoria. We certainly need more wood. Keep rolling them dice, babies. Vegas. Vegas has a city builder, baby. Let it ride. <laughs> Let it ride. Oh, good. So this one went back up in its durability. The number at the bottom there. We'll grab some more food from the hunting uh, grounds. Boom, 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 boom. Smiley face emote. We're going to make some more dice babies. We'll get these two to work on it. Oh, we got to roll, though. So you can do a little strategic planning in the game, too, where if, like, you know you... If you're going to lose a, a dice that's not as important, you can, uh, you know, purposely have them destroyed while you go to have, like, another... make another baby rather than feeding them. Might be easier in some cases. Great music. Yeah, we better just keep making wood. What can we build next? A district hall. Expands territory. Ah, oh, we, we need a stone mine going soon enough. That stone there. Good. Very good. Kind of cool how this game, instead of playing out like a, you know, where you pan across a traditional like flat map, this one actually is like a, kind of a, a a ring. Kind of neat that way. Now we can still get some stuff off the beach. Wreckage, that will give us wood. Okay. I think that's it for wreckage. That'd be cool. I, I don't think we can actually fish from the shore. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, we're in the story mode right now. There'll be a story that develops every couple seasons. Is 
stone mine, iron mine, hunting grounds again. Get food going again. Uh, can we get a big brain check in chat too? By the way, this game is only for big brains. Only, only smart. Only big. <laughs> I would say this is a very chill game, but also it's like I would say Hearthstone's a pretty chill game too with the music and the, you know, the fun atmosphere, but like, you know, it's a card game, so. You gotta be a little smart on that one. Same with this game too, but also luck. You could be the best dice legacy game gamer in the world and still like die to death very quickly, you know, depending on the situation. Okay, so we have 10 food, 9 wood. Okay, stone, we need to keep getting income from stone. What can we build now? We certainly want to build ourselves the steam generator before winter. And I believe that also takes wood to operate. The steam generator, just like in Frostpunk, keeps our people from freezing in the uh, winter. So we definitely want to do something with that as soon as possible. Okay, that's our iron mine, right? Yep. It's getting colder. It's getting colder. Winter is approaching. Soon our fields will be frozen and venturing into the wildlands will be dangerous. We need to make sure we have enough uh, wood to burn in our steam generators. We must survive. And where have I heard that before? The city must survive? Hmm. Hmm. Understood. Survive the winter. Oh, this will be interesting. It's nice to like click things around and like put stuff in storage or whatnot. It's like I'm the I'm the workers bringing stuff to where they need to go sometimes. All right, so we should have that five metal in about thirty seconds. Also, uh, yeah, time is of the essence in this game, too. Like, you you can pause time, but, like, it's not turn-based. So, like, the faster your dice rolls, the faster you do things, you know, the, the better off you'll be. Also, the dice don't have to be the same uh, type to go into the house. They just happen to link up that way. Why does this feel like a browser game? Because it's a good game, just like browser games. All right, we can build that steam generator now. Steam generator. If I could only put it here, that would have been a good spot, but that auto spawned. How about if we build it here? We'll be all right to have everybody work everywhere except for the cookhouse, which is okay because they don't even work there. They just go there. I don't think they can freeze there because it's not actually working. Yay, we have a new baby dice. Yay. Okay, what else do we want? Certainly wood to work in the steam furnace. And we need two dice to work on building. And get that wreckage off the beach. I wish there was something we could do with our boat. It just kind of like sits there to remind you that's how you arrived. Yep, this game has combat. Yep. Indeed it does. Let's see. So the steam generator is ready. We can provide it with 
We can provide it with wood to make it through the winter. It's just like Frostpunk. Eventually, our stone and iron mines will run out, though, and we will have to explore. Uh, building. Prevents dice from freezing. Oh boy, here comes winter. The Council. The Council is proposing new laws for your reign. Mandatory exercise, mandatory harvesting, or fire watch available now on PC. Okay, what the hell? Uh, mandatory exercise. A, peasant's di a peasant die generated from the house starts with a full durability. Mandatory harvesting. At the start of every season, obtain two wheat for every wheat farm inside peasant districts. Hmm. The first two sound good. Peasant uh, Buildings inside peasant districts are immune to fire. We'll go with the mandatory exercise. Since we need to... Uh, Continue making dice anyway. Okay, winter's kind of here, but not yet. It's just starting. Oh, what's up, Red? Good to see you in the chat, man. Hello, Amanda. Good to see you as well. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you're all enjoying the big O stream so far. I'm sure you are. Welcome aboard. And welcome back. That's a fiver right there, so let's go ahead and pop that there. I wonder if there's a, is there a way to see temperature. Current chance of freezing is 5%. Okay, we'll wait until it increases a little bit more. It takes a little bit of time for the uh, burner to fire up. And it gives us two minutes of work. Excellent. Repairing has paid off. Okay, so we still can't harvest in the winter even with the, the heater. Makes sense. Makes sense. Get ready to build a district hall soon so we can expand our territory. Right up there would be a good spot. Good. Good. How many Raptorias are there? I guess it depends. On, really, the question is how many builder games are there? Warmonger Maggie, who could forget? Okay, we need builders. It's hard to tell if this is within the same territory. I can't see the range of the burner. It seems to work immediately next to the tiles, but I think it works a little further than that. Alright, we got some gold too. From that stone mine. Okay, let's have the district center built. Roll them dice. 
the complexity of this game is going to be neat. I'm sure it's going to scale up and be really cool. Uh, what Raptor am I most proud of? Probably the people in our community who are in the Discord, both members and non-members. Uh-oh, somebody did get frozen in the cookhouse. Damn. What's the percentage chance now? 30%. Oh, okay. Well, we better start working only in areas near the steam generator. Roll them dice. Oh, good. We unfroze one of those dice. Nice. All right. And the district hall is complete, so we need exploration cards now. Or dice. Keep going into the forest. We got to cut down those trees. I think all the resources here are finite too, so we're going to have to continue to expand the realm of Raptoria. Hmm. Number one community, indeed it is. So thanks for being a part of it. Okay. Uh, is that? Oh, that's hunting grounds. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's within the same... Yeah, none of our dice here have been freezing, so we, we should be good. I'm pretty sure we can add more heat to that as well. Before it burns out. Yeah, okay, let's go for the exploration. Bum, 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 bum. I wonder if there's more uh, sided dice than just six sides in this game. <laughs> Are we going to roll a d20? I like the ominous music, too, for winter. It's like, ooh, are we going to make it? Ooh. Let's see what kind of season is it now. Middle of winter, okay. Ooh, we got a long way to go, then. Let's keep that heated up. I wonder... I think the house is still covered, too. Let's get a full set of dice. Oh, they... Wait, the district center wants two gold. Why? Oh, to establish a class district. Oh, good. Unknown encampment. Uh, a small settlement inhabit inhabited by an unknown population. Difficult exploration will be very dangerous. Oh. I don't know if we want to go over there, then. But we got more wood. We also unlocked ancient ruins... Forest and uh, another stone mine over there. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's explore those ruins. We have to stay. We we can't go too far now. The ancient ruins. These appear to be the ruins of an old laboratory now overrun by nature. Is this Brad Labs? Oh God, Bradford Bless. Uh, the wood is rotten and the roof is about to collapse, but perhaps something valuable lies inside. Success chance and medium. Well, we gotta try. I wanna see what's in there. Past the entrance is an enormous room covered in dirt and dust. Some valuable goods and tomes are discovered inside. Intriguing. Plus two knowledge? Across the room, a door leads to another section of the laboratory. It's particularly covered by rubble and vines, but perhaps there's more to be found here. Oh, I see. We can keep going or escape. Well, so if we keep going and lose, we lose the two. So let's just escape. I think, actually, I think that's French. That's escape. Walking away from the ancient ruins, the mind wanders to the treasures that were left behind. But just as a hint of regret sets in, the old walls start to crumble. Oh, we were not going to succeed in that at all. Timely. How timely. Alright. Let's do... Jumil. They might freeze, but... 
Better frozen than dead. There are two different things in this game. Unlike fresh, never frozen from Wendy's. Oh, we can gather herbs from the meadows. Ah. Oh. Yeah, let's keep gathering food. Wood is incredibly important to keep that burner going. More territory lies in front of us. Oh no, is that a frickin' bear den? Oh no. Is that is that for bears? Unbearable, unplayable. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, we're going to kind of have to wait till winter's over here because a lot of our cards could freeze now. Or our dice. Unless they're immediately near the generator. But let's keep that wood coming in. As well as meat. Meat. How oh, good. We have four wheat, too. I think we can use wheat for the... Uh, oh, look at how the corners of the screen get a little frosty, too. Frosted tips. Oh, birds fly over, too? What a nice little detail. Oh, this game works, dude. Yes, all resources are not finite. They will run out. Or rather, are not infinite. They will run out. Man, the freezing chance is just so high. Yeah, it kind of looks like a halo ring, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. You got another live stream. Well, welcome. Good to see you here. Um, knowledge. Used to research new technologies. Okay. We can also put dice down here for storage, too. I don't know if they have a chance to freeze, though, if they're just sitting there. They might, actually. Although that house might be within range. Okay, what can we build next? We can build a school, converts peasant die into citizen dice. Ooh, that's a good idea now. Let's finally build one of those. Do we need two builder dice? Cool, now we're building the school. Big brain initiate. Yeah, Frostpunk, yeah, we got our... We literally have a steam generator keeping us warm in the winter. This game, you know, you can tell that 
developers of these indie games too are like fans of other games and they're like, oh, I want to put a steam generator in my game too. Like there's so many, you know, like tips of the hat to other games that people have played. It's really neat. Even some of the sound effects are the same. If you listen closely, you can hear like the tapping of the wood. That's similar to uh, Frostpunk sometimes when people are like uh, delivering wood and stuff. Okay, must be late winter now. End of winter, current dice freezing chance 15. Okay. Ah, now we can change a dice to a citizen. Let's see what happens when we do that. If we provide food, it'll educate them. Hot pockets! And we need two gold to claim territory, so let's do that. So any dice that's not a mercenary, let's do this one. Winter is over. We survived! We did it! First try. And now we get green dice. Ooh. So these are known as citizen dice rather than peasants now. Now we have citizens. And these dice should thaw out soon. We're still in... It's almost the beginning of spring. That That's our season indicator there. And I, I don't think that thing moves fast enough. I wonder if citizens count as two peasant dice. Anyway, I'd rather wait until winter's over before we send out anybody other than workers. Oh boy, the dice are all frozen. Look at that. All locked up. Summers are the best because I can swim and make a big splash. That's fair enough. That's a good observation. Does the ring go all the way around? I think so. We have to keep kind of exploring by building these district halls here, but eventually we will go through the whole map and we will see what we see. I'm waiting for winter to end so we can use these dice, otherwise they're just going to keep getting frozen. Especially up here. And also at the uh, wheat farm. Uh, wheat farm can only be operated during the summer. Winter has passed. The snow is gone. The weather is getting warm again. We made it through our first winter. Now it's time to move forward and discover what lies ahead. Let's see. These count as two. Ah, citizens count as two dice. So one green dice is two peasant dice. Interesting. The council. Council is proposing new laws for your reign. Firewatch, solstice celebration, or higher education. Newly obtained citizen dice now start with two. Uh, immediately obtain two peasant dice. I think we'll go with this one. Because we're, we're full. Alright, let's get cracking. It is spring. Stone mine there. Iron mine. Oh, we got a lot of mines. Boy, is our land plentiful. Alright. We got a big brain dice now. What can we build with that? Maybe a... a produces knowledge necessary to unlock new technologies and buildings at the workshop. Ah, oh, the mill. We should probably make a mill. We can use the mill year-round, so let's build that. Economy, trading post, merchant's guild, military outpost, almshouse, which converts any die into a peasant die, dairy farm, produces food from herbs, Richards for herbs, brewery, ale from wheat. Hmm. What's up, Jeffers? How you doing, dude? Bum, 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 bum. 
Okay, let's continue to gather wood. That'll always be needed. Iron and stone and whatnot, too. Get that dice upgraded. Ah, Scar does stuff. Thanks for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Okay, now we need to harvest the wheat. I think first we have to plow the field, then cultivate, then we have to harvest. Oh boy. It's a lot of work. A lot of damage. Bum, bum, bum. Oh wow, the mill needs workers too. Oh boy. Keep converting them dice. Oh, that still needs two. more food. And okay, the mill's working good. Now let's convert another dice. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it looks like it's all going down on a halo ring, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I want to get that workshop done. This produces knowledge, but I'm not sure where to use the knowledge, though. Tax office produces gold. Where's the, the stress test thing? Yeah, some of you, like, have permanent PTSD from that, myself included. Cool, well, the mill only requires one worker because the other worker would be the windmill itself, you know, doing most of the work of grinding the grain. Yeah, we're getting hunting dice going. We're basically just kind of telling everyone where to go and what to do when, when we have the time. I think two wheat creates two food, too. I don't think it's two to one. Hope not. That would be pretty inefficient, but... Ready for another long winter. Wow, the workshop takes a... Oh, that's called study. Okay. We're creating big brains over here. Shadowy figures. A terrified peasant screams for help. Somebody's attacking our settlement. Who and why? Rumors quickly spread about the others. We're not alone. Some pale, slender figures appear from the mist. They move quickly through the shadows and are approaching our supplies. We must stop them from stealing our resources. Find the source of the attacks. Well, I'm pretty sure we found where the hell that's coming from. Military outpost allows raiding of nearby encampments and hostile structures. Needs encampment or hostile location and range. 
Converts peasant die into soldier dice. Okay, well, I guess we were supposed to find it first. Okay, we'll have to wait for a... Other dice. Well, let's try the explorer dice. They might die, but that's what we're supposed to do, I guess. Bum, bum. An interesting discovery. We encountered a small encampment. The population looks aggressive and uncivilized. Unfortunately, our explorer was seen while trying to sneak into their camp and caught by a guard. This is sure to make them even more bitter about our presence. Uh-oh. build a guard tower up there. Okay, we're building guard towers now. Pretty cool. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we're making knowledge. Wow, 80. 80 to develop a big brain. Allows raiding of nearby encampments and hostile structures. Okay. So now we should be able to send out soldier dice. We should probably get the barracks up first. That requires more wood. All wood is needed. We still want some peasant dice, though, for uh, raw resource material gathering. Ink Joker, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg again. Appreciate the support. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, I'm going to wait till these guys are done to roll again. Yeah, I don't think we want any more citizen dice now. Let's actually take that back. Let's make some more peasant dice. Mama, the building has no labor, sire. Yeah, that's nice about this game. Not every building needs to have, like... It doesn't have to always be active. Middle of sun, or the, the sun is roaring, okay. Well, let's build a barracks. Roll them dice. One dice might die, we'll see. Winter is coming. Uh, I know. It's coming along. It's like uh, everybody becoming a member. It's like it's going to happen. Everybody watching is going to smash like to support the channel before we hit the one million. It's going to happen. Statistically, I'm not wrong. Bum, bum, bum. Let's get you guys some food. 
Raiders, the sight of swords and axes, savages aiming at our homes. We must prevent them from destroying our buildings. That's why we're building the barracks. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, we need five raid. Shadow Legends. Download now. Oh, wow, they can actually destroy buildings. Wow. Jerks. Outside of our territory. What? District Hall takes more wood. Well, that's annoying. How do I use knowledge? Use to unlock new technologies. Oh, there we go. Oh, that would have been helpful to know. Oh, well, now I know. Uh, let's see. Increase wood gathering from forest by one. Increase hunting by one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just like Frostpunk, you gotta spend materials to unlock the next tier. Wheat production. That's a good idea. Enchantment Chamber, military. Unlocks tower. Passively provides a sword face on structures and threats. Unlock the market. Unlock Pinto Bless. Unlocks Pinto Bless. Pinto Bless can bless Pinto Bless a die. Pinto Bless. Uh, let's do the cookhouse ration increase. We have two points left. Could save some. We don't have to spend them all. Increase food produced by mill. That's a good one. Hmm. Raid resources for gold. I wonder if I can buy stuff. Hmm. We'll save our extra one. So how much knowledge are we going to get? Okay, we get two knowledge, all right. Well, the citizens sure are helpful for building and mechanics and such. Yeah, we needed more wood to rebuild that district hall. I need to get that military camp back under our control. Oh, get, well, oh fire. That's what that dinging is. Oh, God. I was wondering what the hell that noise was. Got that just in time. Oh, this is damn raider walking around. Oh, we can kill him. Yeah. Get wrecked. Alright, so that's how that works. Okay. I never encountered that before. First time. Oh, come on.
Doesn't mean we're being attacked either. It could just be random fires. And we may have to lose the dice in order to save a building. Dude, what? All these fires. The Council. The Council is proposing new laws for your reign. Nature studies, healing chemicals, and mandatory cutting. Uh, nature studies. At the start of every season, obtain one knowledge per different location type inside citizen districts. I don't know what a location type is. Healing chemicals. Enchantment. Enhancement chamber also heals wounded and sickness. Hmm. Mandatory cutting. At the start of every season, obtain two wood for every forest inside the peasant districts. That one might actually be good, considering the fact that now all of our people are focused more on uh, production and putting out fires. Let's go with that one. Yeah, we can attack the raiders. There's a lot more to pay attention to now than I saw before. Well, now we got to get builders back up and running to finish the construction of the barracks. Waiting for a fire to break out, but now it's winter, so we gotta kinda slow down on what we do. Yep, dice are getting cold now. Convert into soldier peasant with two iron. There we go, let's train up some troops. Okay, we could build another district hall here. These workers may freeze, but if we do it early early enough, we might have a chance. Alright, cool. Now we have a blue military dice. But we need torches to do that. Three raiders. That's cool. So the blue dice are more than likely to be military dice. some big brains going. We might have more knowledge to unlock. Oh boy. What's my favorite game? Uh, telling chat to smash like and then they don't do it. I win every time. Refined technology. This stuff's a little spendy. Looks like we need a lot more stone to unlock the next tier. Uh, reduce the probability of being wounded in combat by 15%. Ooh, that's a good one. 
Tariffs. Market has a 10% chance to provide extra gold. And we'll get that military tower too. Bum, 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 bum. What? There's no way chat's going to get to 301 likes. There's no possible way. That's not going to happen. More iron is needed. Hmm. Well, let's convert some more wheat. Let's get another healing going. Oh, another soldier dice was created. Ah, soldiers can also do work too, that's cool. True, an organized labor force essentially. Yeah, production slows in the winter quite quite greatly. Okay, we have a chance for another destruction. Oh good, one more and we have ourselves an invasion. Keep making that weed into food and then eventually we'll turn we'll uh, build an ale house. Can we do that now? That might be a good idea. Workshop. Uh, what is it called? Oh, brewery. Okay, we need more stone for that. Now, so the drawback with the citizens is they can't do any physical resource gathering. They can only do production or building or knowledge. That dice is going to get stun locked. Hmm... Let's get more stone. Oh, it's this game? Oh, I'm liking it. It has mixed reviews, but I I didn't really read them. I just... If I play game, me like me play. It's very simple. A lot of the times on the channel, I'll say, like, I really like this game. And people will be like, you say that about every game. And it's like, well, when I go to the grocery store and I bring back food, uh, and I put it in my refrigerator and my pantry, uh, I like all the food that's in my refrigerator and pantry. It's just like when I, when I play a game, you know, it's like, you, you like every game you play? Yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I'm playing it, dude. <laughs> like, that's, that's why I'm, that's why, I, that's why I played it? That's, that's why you do things that, that's, that's why things are done. People do, oh. Oh, I wish I could cancel that now. Oh well. Never mind. Now we got a fire. Where? Well, it's true though. Like you know, when you go to the grocery store, I mean, what are you doing? Buying like, uh, like liver and onions? Come on. When you go to the store, you buy stuff you like. All right, let's take out this one camp now. Good, we can get rid of these damn raider camps. You enjoy the music that you listen to? You say that about all your music. Burn and pillage. As we set flame to their tents, a raging roar erupted from their camp. This means war, and they'll come at us with everything they have. So be it. We will be ready. Wow, this one's going to take five. Oh, we now have one ale. I don't know how we got that, but all right. Well, the dice are freezing. Ah, middle winter sucks. Put you there.
Oh, there's dif different factions too. Oh, damn. Peasants are angry. Why? Oh, because I upgrade. Oh, they get mad whenever you upgrade one of their dice. Okay. Suri, bud. Suri. Got five there. At least the citizens are more likely to have the mechanical gear, which means that they're more likely to put out fires, so that's useful. We have another raid. Shadow Legends. Every time I roll these dice, too, there's a chance we can unfreeze them, so... Guys got frozen putting out the fire. Oh, you can also lock dice. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Well, that's more of an advanced tech, advanced feature that we can use now. Don't really need it at the start since there's very few, uh, Nice to roll. There we go. Let's take out another camp. Uh, all the snow is giving you Frostpunk vibes. You can't wait for the sequel. I agree. Frostpunk is going to be amazing. Can you discard frozen dice if you produce more than 12? Uh, I think it will make you discard dice that are not frozen. Or if you... You can have more than these dice if you always have one on the field but if one comes back and this is full then you lose the dice that's out in the field soldiers are content good uh oh the mill again okay, knowledge Knowledge. Okay, Raid Shadow Legend. Oh, where's there a fire? Okay, now we gotta make more soldier class dice, so I think we gotta convert some citizens to troops. Oh, it can only con Oh, it only converts peasants, okay. So we're gonna have to get uh, a couple of peasants inside of a house. Make them peasant babies, y'all. And we can do some exploring up there too, but now we're pretty much frozen for the winter. But spring's on the way. End of winter. Freezing chance 15. Don't really feel like we need this boiler anymore. I wonder if we destroy something. If we get the materials back. Alright, so we got all the tier 1 research done, so now we gotta start getting wood, stone, and metal seem to be needed the most. Yeah, that's right. Brown chicken, brown cow is what we're gonna be doing with the peasants in order to make more peasant cards to get soldier dice.
Or we could just take the peasant cards that we have, but the peasants are the only ones that can gather raw materials. They're very useful. The only ones that can do mining, the only ones that can do log cutting or hunting. Alright, we got another fire. Down to the old barracks. Man, it takes too long for things to unfreeze. We're trying to do some more building. I need to build that house to possibly downgrade a card. Converts any die into a peasant die. Oh, that takes a crazy amount of wood, though. Ten. Alright, all of our dice are basically stun-locked. Although the military ones we can keep putting into here. Wow, wait, wait, we need three more? Yeah, wow. That's a lot. Merchants and monks are the other class types. So we've got peasants, citizens, merchants, monks, and soldiers to worry about. Uh oh. Everybody else frozen to death. Okay, we gotta wait till everybody on thaws. We're stun locked. Oh, there we go, finally. The council is proposing new laws for your reign healing chemicals, mandatory training, or mobilization. Soldier dice have a 15% chance of being empowered when used in soldier districts. Mobilization. Military Academy requires an extra die and provides an extra soldier die. Well, we have a barracks, but not a military academy. But the military seems to be quite important at the moment. I'll oh, see a third guy showed up now, too. So the first person is peasants. The second person is uh, citizens. They're still merchants and monks. Let's go with the mandatory training. Okay, we need to cut down more trees, right? Need that Elm's house. More knowledge, please. Okay, lock that dice. Oh yeah, they're also the only explorers too. that one. Definitely need one of these at all times for fires.
Uh oh. Keep making food. I want to get on to making ale soon. Six stone, though, and six wood. Okay, another military dice unlocked. Got lots of knowledge. That's good. I wonder if the knowledge eventually takes more than one point. Oh, yep, they do. So the tier two take two, tier three take three, and so on. Okay, so knowledge is going to be really important. Uh, Schedule is down below in the description if you're wondering what we're up to next. Oh, we can start stacking dice on top of each other. Guard tower, we took care of that, okay. More knowledge, good. Okay, re-roll. Okay, what do I need to build this house? And wood, okay. We do get more wood each season now by with that perk. So at least by the winter we can get more peasants. with that guard tower, man. <laughs> it, that guard tower keeps catching on fire so often, it's the last thing I look at, because I'm like, it can't be possibly on fire again. And yet, there it is, on fire again. Oh, now we need two military dice to deal with that. All wood is needed. Get you into the cookhouse. Boom, 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 boom. What's up, Wannabe Pro? Hello there, Clinton Jones. Good to see everybody here. Welcome, chat. Thanks for hanging out today. Welcome to all the new members. Always a delight to see you in.
Bum, bum, bum. Ah, oh, there we are. Now we can finally build this little house. It'll help us downgrade and readjust some of our citizens. Sometimes we'll need more of one type, sometimes we need more of the other. Alright, baby, let it ride. Okay, we need builders there. We got a fire. The barracks again. Oh, we got bad guys coming in. Die to death. Book house. Dude, this is some busy work in this game. I like this, ma'am. It's like... It's... It's just enough without being too much, right? Like, there's a lot to click on, a lot of things to move, but it's not too much. It's subtle without being pushy, you know? Like a good wine. Like when I complain in the stream. That's a good wine, too. Uh, well, let's put one of the peasant dice here. Yes, now we can downgrade a dice, but I'm going to keep the soldier dice. Downgrade one of you boys. Well, not even a downgrade. It's actually almost like an upgrade because they're the only ones that can gather materials, and that's important. Okay, pop some wheat in there. Roll them dice. Okay, we'll keep this one on lock. You heal up again. Oh boy. My wine gets better with age. Why, thank you. Let's see. Yeah, we probably should get more stone mine. Oh, that was an iron mine. Ah, that's alright. We'll need that for more troops. That's totally fine. Yeah, let's do another downgrade. Oh, we have another orange one here, but we need more, though. We still need more. Okay, so I need more iron for the troops. And we need to make some of these dice into troops as well. I'm going to keep one dice on standby just in case. And now we have new lands of Raptori to unlock. Any ruins? No. Nope. Ah, good. Now we can raid Shadow Legends. We're clearing the lands of Raptoria. No longer will we have to deal with raiders, baby. Amen, brother. <clears throat> yeah, Age of Empires looked epic. Yeah, that ends in about 30 minutes, so that's why I didn't start with that for today's stream. Mm. Oh, that's where all that stuff comes from. Okay. Looks like uh, some of our soldiers died in the raid, too, so we lose cards for that, too. Okay, so that's where we get ale and things from. We actually get uh, materials from that. Success, boys! First try, wall. And we need more wood. We also need this house not to be on fire. That would be helpful, so let's make sure that happens. Oh, and some more warriors are on their way. Where do you guys come from? Oh, not there. They, they have another camp somewhere? I guess they can attack from off map. Oh, that's not fair. Those turds. All right. Um. Oh, we only have one wheat. Okay, we'll keep this one on lock. And with the builder. All right. Nice to have peasants again. Oh, we need to have them make peasant babies. We can make more troops. 
Pixie, thank you very much for becoming a raptor hatchling. Welcome aboard. Oh, actually, there is wheat there. Nice. Alright, reroll. More knowledge, please. Gotta start spending points to unlock that knowledge, but we need more peasants. Need more peasants to do more mining. Oh, you can also make um, merchants to trade with those camps? Oh, really? Interesting. Navigation dice will tell which ones are hostile or unfriendly. Okay. Well, it did tell me that they were that it basically meant war by attacking some of those guys, so we cleared them out. Interesting. Well, that's good to know. Oh boy, these guys are going to destroy a building if we're not careful, and they're going for the barracks too. I want, yeah, let's get you guys out there. Got him. Right at the last second, nice. That's what I was looking for, the wheat. Well, that's cool, so we can actually trade with them. I want to downgrade another one of these dice. To get you guys downgraded. Get you replenished. Alright. Some troops ready to go. Still wood is needed. More wood is needed. Steam uh, streams keep stopping for me still. Yep, that's just that's just YouTube. They They refuse to fix what they already admit to be a problem. Don't have to change if you're the only company in town. Okay, let's lock, lock, lock. Actually, these are all pretty damn good. Go back for some wood there. Oh, good. Now we can build uh, closer to our town, too, once we clear the... What does ale do, exactly? Brewed from wheat, useful for curing freezing. Ah, okay. The council. The council is proposing new laws for your reign. Immediately obtain foreknowledge. Nope. Uh, commissioners, increase the range of the tax office by one. Greenhouses. Wheat farms inside peasant districts will also work in winter. Ooh. Oh, we can see our active policies, too. Hmm. I like the tax one. But greenhouses would allow us to make more... Well, we have plenty of food, so I guess we could dedicate all of our wheat for a little while to making ale. So we need the brewery and we need, a, like, a tavern or something, I think. We need, we need something like the cookhouse to cure them. Not cure them, but unfreeze them. Here is a whole nother thing. Oh, uh-oh. Game's cool, man. I like this. Okay, we'll make one more thing of wheat. Bum, bum, bum. 
You like this game? Yeah, me too. I, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so we built all the stuff on tier one. Okay, we need more raw materials. Got frozen out there. Ooh, ooh. Well, I went with the greenhouse as one, but I don't see an ability to use that. I also don't know much about districts. I don't, I'm not sure how that works in this game yet. We need more wood and stone. Some more knowledge going. Um, don't need to explore anymore. Oh, established class district. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's how you do it. The so district halls not only expand your territory. Oh, I see. But how do I know which one's which? Expands territory and increases efficiency nearby. Can be upgraded into a class district hall. Oh, it has to be upgraded. Let's, let's make this a peasant district here. There's a lot of mining and stuff to do. And I could move the wheat farm. Yeah, so we can make this for citizens, peasants. Ah, okay. Kind of hard to see unless you're just looking at the outline, but okay, I got it. Well, let's build a farm. Nice. Nothing will stop us. Excellent. And then we can actually do increased production. Yeah, so the radius seems to be one tile in all directions, yeah. there Maybe maybe there'll be a way to upgrade that later. Winter is a pain in the ass, though. Because everything gets stun locked. Rightfully so. Okay, so let's take a look. We have an iron mine that's about to run out of materials. We've got a stone mine and another iron mine. Raptori is plentiful. Wood's getting low, though. I feel like we could just get rid of the steam generator then. Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm assuming we could probably make multiple district halls and then just give a bonus around everything. So I could build like another district hall here for peasants and then oh yeah, that'd be not, that'd be a good idea. Oh, there's our tavern. Heals frozen dice u using ale. Six wood. That would be helpful. Well, let's go with the... Uh, uh, I need a... Well, I need a brewery at some point, but we don't need it. We have two ale already. The tavern. Man. Oh no. Hmm. 
What? Oh. Wow, the wheat farms can still work in winter. But the peasants can still get frozen. The take two, I can't see. Peasant will die, but uh, maybe not. Boom, 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 boom. Peasants can freeze to death. Well, no, they don't necessarily freeze to death. You just you can't use them until you either bring them to uh, a tavern to warm up or. Um, you have a special ability that for every roll there's a small chance to unlock them all. Yeah, it looks like there's different characters you can choose as possibly. Or that you'll be playing as differently. That's not backseating, that's information. Backseat is you should, when are you, you, you know. There's a little difference. Oh boy. Raiders again? Oh, the winter's so long. Now well, we're going to lose the... I think they're attacking the district hall. Wait, can they actually... No. Boom, 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 boom. Now well, we can try to roll. There's a small chance for an unlock. Looks like they're pretty smart on what they attack, too. I need more peasant dye is what I really need. We just need like three greens now. Like two for knowledge and one for production. Ideally. It's only the middle of winter, too. What's the other tech? Uh, frame saw, hunting expeditions. Oh man, geology's good. Barrel aging, expeditions. Increased chance of finding herbs by the herbalist by 10%. Tiled roof, increase the time before building is destroyed by a fire. Ooh, that's helpful. Steam generator duration by 20%. Fire brigades, scouts, emissaries. Damn.
was trying to unfreeze the dice through lucky rolls, but no luck. Laysai. Yeah, that's true. You can select a resource on the left side, or you can uh, shift and then click here to like place a, a matching dice or a, a matching uh, resource. Wow, somebody got frozen inside the cookhouse. Oh, no, more Raid Shadow Legends are coming. And they'll be attacking that district hall, yep. Yeah. Which will then stun lock our territory. Good idea then to have multiple district halls. They are expensive. They are an expensive breed indeed. Wait, did they die? Weird. Building allows raiding of nearby encampments and structures. We need a watchtower every time we find a camp. Oh, that's cool. Instead of moving the camera, it's like we're moving the... The camera stays still. It's like we're moving the ring itself. That's cool. It makes that cool noise. That's neat. Bum, bum, bum. Yep, Ale House is probably what we want to make next so we can actually get unlocked from the stun locker. Tavern. Let's plop one of those down. Bum, bum, bum. All right, finally, the end of winter. Good. Good, good. Ah, chat, you're almost up to the next 100 likes. Good luck in reaching that goal. You're close. Forest. Oh, wait. Only one forest? Oh, two. At least nearby on the left side. More Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, these are thieves. Okay. So some steal and some destroy. What a jerk. Bum, bum. Don't plug that game too much now. That's funny. Anytime I see the word raid, I just can't help but make the joke. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. All right, good. Now we got ourselves the house up for the downgrades. But I think we got the... Yeah, we got the good number of citizens. We're going to need more military for the next push, but... Not as much. Now we just got pesky attacks. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so we're almost done. Not much longer now. There we go. Salting doubles food produced in all buildings inside peasant districts. Okay. All 
I also need to put peasants into the love shack. A noxious smell. A foul stench fills the air. Strange-looking figures are carrying putrid jars. Perhaps some kind of poison? We must stop them from spreading any sort of dangerous uh, malady to our population. Uh-oh. So we can still lose military dice. Okay. And luckily we'll have plenty of knowledge. Okay, we gotta keep making military units no matter what. Well, they can get to zero. Okay. Yeah, the tech points we can spend, but we're uh, we we have to upgrade to the next tier, so we need more materials to do that. We're generating tech points, but we can't use them yet. The windmill looks so so peaceful. I agree. Feels good to have peasants going again. It should just be called laborers. They're doing a great job. They're holding this town together. Iron for military units. food this game looks cool yeah it's pretty cool it, it does take a little just a little bit to learn and get a feel for I feel like we'll probably we would probably fail this time but there's many more things to learn and do 
All right, now we can make some military units for real dough. Town Square holds festivals that can increase the happiness of a die class. Ooh. Are there defensive structures? Yeah, we well, kind of. Your your troops are your real defense. What was I gonna do with this? Probably farming. I should probably get a couple dedicated military units. Clear out that iron mine finally. Barracks, mil okay, the tower passively provides military face on nearby structures and threats, okay. In other words, minus one, if we need two. Pretty good investment. Ten stone, six iron, though. Torches! A dim light. Screaming men with torches. We must stop them from setting fire to our settlement. Oh, boy, they got an organized attack now. Well, let's stop them. Gathering that iron, I need it. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Actually, we have a maximum number of dice at the moment. Probably make guard towers now. them dice, baby. Zooming on this game feels weird. Uh, we're not necessarily zooming. We're rotating the ring. Essentially, the map is kind of like a large ring, and we're on the inside of it, rotating the ring rather than the camera. If I had to start over, would I do anything differently? Every uh, time you play a game, it's a learning experience. Gather up that wheat. see more wood no we did that stone I'd like to do more of that's there right yep
Okay, anything we can unlock. Okay, so we need iron in order to unlock refined technology. Not only does this give us more materials, but also it saves us time because we can mine more in less time. So refined technology might be a good tier to go down. Wood gathered, food gathered. Yep. Yeah, that would probably would be good. Battlements increases tower range by one. Merchants can hire mercenaries. Ooh. Bum, bum, bum. Has there ever been a stream without backseaters? Uh, in a game like this, or some of the other games, it's okay, but it's when it's more load screen tips, you know? Like, if it's a, if it's a tip that could be like five words on a Call of Duty load screen, that's... But remember, it's... Being helpful is not, not bad at all. It's, uh, you know, it's YouTube, so when people are kind of pushy about it, you know, it's like when you were... A little kid and your older brother or sister tried to like rip the controller away from you and be like you need to do it this way it must be done to my specifications that's when it's uh that's when it gets like oh boy that's being good chats being wonderful a bob ross wall Let's see. Uh, the different colors indicate whether they're peasants, military, merchants, monks, or uh, citizens. You hope I, I'm having a great day? I certainly am. Okay, yeah, was there... Oh, I wanted to... Uh, mine more iron. Nice. Now we got a ton of wheat. This game seems really long, too. Like, the whole goal, it seems, is to go across the whole ring. You see the slider on the right side, by the way? It shows you kind of like how far we can go. We're, we're about halfway or whatnot, at least for the exploration of this first part. But there's, it looks like many different little campaigns or missions or whatever you want to call them. Chapters. Pretty cool. You're almost at a million? Yeah, we're almost at a million subscribers. So thanks to everybody and their support. Almost there, yeah. Got one iron mine again. I need, what, six is it to unlock the next one? Yep. Refined technology is going to be very important. Oh. End of summer again. Great. And those jerks stole all my ale. Luckily, we got plenty of points stored up. I hope you'll be enjoying Ramen Hood when the game comes out. <laughs> that game was cool. It was certainly not as much of a city builder as I was expecting, but, I mean, the whole purpose of, like, going out and doing quests... Like, it did feel like we were running a settlement and did have some minor choices to it. Although they really... If you're going to call the game Sherwood Builders, that's their title, uh, there should be a little bit more building in that game. But also, you know, building doesn't just necessarily mean making a structure. It could also mean 
building relationships, building an army, building a resistance. That's a little bit more, you know, it's one of those open terms. Crafting, yeah, the game does have crafting, yeah. Yeah, in that game it does. You can craft a bow and you can go to the blacksmith and craft short swords, long swords. Definitely had a little bit of jank to it, but it, again, that was an early play test, and I liked what I saw. I, I think it's really cool how we get to get a little glimpse into a game before it's completely done, because it really, at least for my purposes of like checking out games, at least I don't feel like I need to dedicate 1,600 hours to a game just to be like, okay, I'm done with the tutorial area now. The like Ghost of Tsushima is that way, but that game is like the best. You know, like where games just completely lock you down into like a you know the lore the story the immersion the council the council is proposing new laws for your reign solstice celebration breakthrough or artifacts newly obtained dice have one extra power to uh one extra power to what is that builders okay hmm Good UK lore. Yeah, that was pretty damn cool. I do like how Valheim, uh, not Valheim, but Valhalla had a lot of uh, British lore in it too, or UK lore. For the times of the Romans and the Vikings and such. A lot. That was a great game. I was expecting it to be more about Scandinavia, but it turned out to be more, you know, obviously of like the, I don't know what you call that time period, but the Vikings invasion of the British Isles, etc. Whatever, whatever you want to call them. Lars with the five. Hey, Raptor, thanks for your awesome Age of Empires 4 stream yesterday. Really enjoyed it. Will you play be the Beaver game later on? Thanks for being awesome. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back to Timberborn. I want to play some more Timberborn and more uh, Humankind, but tomorrow I'm getting access to some games that have some pretty big updates, so we're, we're going we're gonna to go back to those, I, I promise. But we're going into the hardcore gaming season where it's like i got to balance myself between, like, games like this, Dice Legacy, and also games like, uh, you know, like a new release or something that I know will be big, or an early look, like with Age of Empires, which was just a technical test. We got six iron, good, now we can either build the tower, but do technology. Or not technology, but, uh, I mean, we should do Breakthrough then. Oh, Evil Genius 2, yeah, we'd go back to that for like some DLCs and stuff, which they have. Hmm, okay, well, let's get back to this. I think we'll go with Breakthrough. Also, let me check in this game. Can I... Oh, okay, so there's no... There's no, like, saving. It's like Iron Man saving. Okay, um... Let me get you out of there, because you no longer have that district bonus. I gotta rebuild that. Let's do technology. Technology. Isn't that funny how the word technology has the word knowledge in it? Makes you think. Those are all good. <gasps> it unlocked the tier for everything. I thought we had to do it for each. Oh, that's nice. Uh, reduce the probability of freezing in the winter by 15%. I'll take that. Oh wait, let's start from the left side. It yeah, will unlock the stuff that we have first. Ooh, increase district hall range. Good. With the forge. Oh, we probably have to build the forge though. Experiments on volunteers. What? Unlock military academy. Okay. okay. We have 10 points left. I liked that one. Uh, what was that? The forge. Hmm. We don't have a brewery yet.
Uh, reduce the probability of wounded in combat by 15. That's good. We have all the top ones done? Yeah, we do. Reduce the decay rate of durability of sick dice by 15. That might be a good one. Just in case. And we can save the rest of our points for a little bit. Okay, let's see. Well, let's roll them dice, baby. Get your numbers up. Okay, we're ready for any attacks that come in. Gotta build another district center. Ooh, look at that range. Damn. Actually, if I make this a peasant hall, then we can make a... Uh... Can't see the steam generator radius, though. Oh, well. Freezing. Oh, well, at least we're gathering a lot more materials now with our upgrades. Things are pretty slow in the winter. We don't have to do a lot. We can just chill. deal with attacks all winter. Reading the news on Mondays isn't uh, as depressing as midweek. Yeah, I got you. To the blizzard. Hey, look at that. We've unlocked all of our dice again. Pinto bless. Cool. Oh, let me. Let me lock everybody. Sir, don't do that. unlock two of these. Actually, we'll unlock all those. Okay, keep working those mines, people. Gotta be late winter, right? Middle of winter. 
Current chance is 25.5 because of the uh, upgrade we got. Good. Oh, it's a forest. Wait, what's the difference with this? Oh, it's the same, just different looking wood. Okay, Raid Shadow Legends coming in. Good. Got him. Alright, District to Hall, Manipulation. Where's that building the forge? Missionary outpost, monasteries. Con oh, convert citizen dice into monk dice. But wait, that requires eight stone. Okay. Well, now we can build a pinto bless if we want to. Let's do that. And then... Enchantment chamber, forge, and laboratory. Ooh. We'll build that with more stone. I wanted to see what the monks do first. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, actually, wait. Get you guys some fire. And, oh yeah, I forgot I could do this. I like clicking a dragon. It takes a little bit more time, but it's still fun. No. You are left frozen. Yeah, we did a video on this. Uh, it felt like earlier, well, like last week. I don't know, the weekends go by so quickly now, it's ridiculous. Needs to be a way to slow down time on the weekends to like 0.5 speed. Hmm. Okay, well, there seems to be. Give me a gear, baby. You think the soundtrack has a bit of Star Wars in it? Oh. Yeah, I could kind of see that. I like the pacing of this game, like it's, it doesn't feel fast or slow, it just, it feels slow enough to, you can, where you can actually think and it's not too, I don't know, it's good, it's good pacing. There's the stone mine. Hmm. Another 60 second attack coming in. It is cool when you clear a resource, then you can at least build on it, so that's helpful. You may lose the resource, but with all the resources gathered, it cleans up a spot for building a house or a farm or whatever.
Okay, we may lose one there. Which is a good time to rebuild those numbers. How's the game so far? Oh, good. We seem to have made it uh, halfway across the map or so. We're now building up to get ready to break out. Yeah, we don't have any ale at the moment. We'll have to build both the brewery and the uh, tavern for it. Which might be a good idea to build now. Okay, that one's going to be gone. We're making a new one, so we got it back. Cool. I guess the range of this thing is anything in the dirt. I really can't tell. Uh, why not build the tavern to unfreeze dice? Because we don't have ale. We could build it, but we got to pr first produce stuff at the brewery. So first we need to make the ale and then we can then we can put them in the tavern. Well, we got plenty of wheat to do it. A little bit difficult to get anything done in the winter though. Lots of wood around. Buildings refund 30% of their cost on built buildings refund 100. Oh good, now we're making uh, ale finally. Everybody's stun locked, but the uh, end of winter is coming. You have a lot of iron and low stone, dot, dot, dot. Yes, the materials that we have are listed numerically on the left side of the screen. That is correct. All right, tavern time. Um, not really sure how to do the district thing yet, but I'll learn. Bum, bum, bum. So we'll start preparing ale for the next year. Oh, we never uh, built. We never finished building the tavern. That's why. Oh, we get all of our materials back. Yeah, I couldn't build it because we didn't have uh, enough builders just yet. And we got to build the monastery too as soon as these dice unfreeze.
Well, that'd probably be where the source of the attacks are coming from, right up there. The Council. The Council's proposing new laws for your reign. Healing chemical solstice celebration. Mandatory schooling. At the start of every season, obtain one knowledge for every citizen district. We'll go with this one. important beginning of summer good yep we're back we're back in business baby Some more ale. Yeah, dice. Uh, the winter for the dice is crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how much uh, you might need to manage. This is a good management game, though. It's uh, very reminiscent of Frostpunk in a way of managing your your population. Though that game continues to just put all of its weight under your throat and not let up. All oh, those guys are down. We need to train more. Let's finish these buildings. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, roll them dice. Good on food for a while. Yeah, roll everything. Oh wow, a three attack group. Wait. groups into place. Okay. <laughs> the 
cure for what ails you. Ale. This game is super confusing. Um, eh, I like it. It feels good. got to work how we doing well we're doing pretty good the city's uh, doing great game is a uh, slow pace though I'm gonna get ready to build a district center here in just a minute we can expand our territory so we should probably do that Citizens are good builders. We have plenty of weed again. Let's go for more ale. Dice have two fight. Okay. I see how that works. Basically counts as like another dice. Like this one. But we only needed one. I don't want to say much, chat, but there, that one thing that was happening that was kind of annoying that wood doesn't like because it destroys it, and it's really like the center of a pocket of a certain particular temperature isn't happening anymore. That's good. Alright, we got to put an explorer in here now. Now that we've discovered that area.
Ah, now we can scout up there. An interesting discovery. We've encountered a small encampment. The population seems peaceful and lost in ador adoration of some kind of deity. Unfortunately, our explorer was caught while trying to sneak into their camp. The explorer managed to escape, uh, but regaining their trust will take time. Hmm. We might be able to trade with them then. More troops are needed. Hi from Canada. Good good point. Where's everybody watching from today? Good to see so many people tuning in and hanging out. Welcome. Nice to have you all here. Okay, we got a lot of good materials. Let's keep going for stone and iron. Another, oh, another stone mine there. Nice. Hmm, let's start working on some technology. We got 12. We could unlock tier 3. That would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's at least go with those two to start. Wood and stone and iron is increased. Good. We produce production increased. Food increase. And knowledge increase. That's a good one. That'll pay us back later. End of summer. Okay. End of Sumar. Let's go with stone mine, iron mine, iron mine. Uh, let's see, we need more. We we need more dice babies. be an attack soon I'm sure hostile 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 you're watching near Phoenix Arizona very nice looks like we've explored about 75% of the territory oh, we're out of wood well wow.
Yeah, that was a big raid, Shadow Legends. That was a lot of them. Definitely need a lot of wood. Can you regrow the forest? I don't think so. I don't think there's a way to get, get materials back once you use them. That's why you want to keep pushing down the line. Council's proposing new laws for your reign. Every building that allows a die to be converted into a different class operates... Requires one less resource to operate. Hmm. Production reviews. Citizen dice have a 15% chance to provide one knowledge when used in ci citizen districts. Ooh, that's a good one. for the winter. Chat, you're almost up to the big five hundo. Never going to happen though. No way. on fire. Now we could go for more research again. Gotta gotta start using those archery training thingies. We could probably do that now instead of doing the mill. We could convert everything to ale. And then start doing hunting. Maybe. Ah, oh, there we go. Ale produced by Brewery 1 is important now. Increased knowledge produced by Workshop by 1. I oh, already did that. Wow, Cookhouse restores 4 extra durability. Damn. Ooh. Hmm. Now yeah, we haven't even touched the guilds yet. Ah, chance of winter. Reduce the probability by 15. We're going with that one. Hell yeah, brother. Uh-oh. Wow, now the chance of freezing is only 3.5% at the start. Nice. 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 Okay, we needed like 24 wood to unlock the next tier.
Yeah, Max House Cook... A uh, Maxed Out Cookhouse seems like a pretty good choice. Oh, I see there's a tower up there, too. Hmm. I'm curious to know what's at the end of this map. We're close. I'd actually probably opt to build a district hall again. Could unlock advanced technologies. Ooh, your streams are now starting at 240p instead of 144. Wow, YouTube upgrade. One, imagine that 240p in 2020, almost 2022. Imagine that. Wow, amazing. What's our top level of uh, research get us? Uh, let's see. Increase wheat produced by the farm by one. Increase ale production. Increase ooh, scholars too. Okay, we got four. That probably takes four as well, yeah. Disregard for safety. Sights, crossbows, ballistas. Banking. Damn, I haven't even started with the monks and stuff yet. We gotta do the religion tier now that we got that unlocked. But what's most important is like the the uh This stuff. Okay, let's go for some of these. I like the idea of the, of the uh, wheat production. Yeah, let's go with that. We can make more ale, which means we can keep working in the winter. Okay, let's try to make a religious block now. Convert a citizen into a monk. Let's do a pinto bless. But it takes two herbs. Okay, so we got to make an herbalist first. Okay, got it. So, oh, let's see, wait, or maybe not an herbalist, but go to the meadows then. James, thanks for the two, dude. Appreciate that support. Big O, support from chat. Thank you very much. Click, tap, and join. Thanks for all the Big O super chats. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Hope you're all enjoying the uh, live stream of... Dice Legacy. I can see why some people might not like this. They're just turned off by the dice. I certainly was that way long ago, too, where just like game not what want by rather than learn rather than learning. Well, I probably missed out on many a good game that way. Alright. Oh, let's explore. Perfect. Well, let's get big brain. Mr. IFO 18 with the big O10. Thank you very much. Woo! You're the number one fan. I see. Well, thank you very much for being the number one fan. Uh oh. Enemy attacks coming in. Got him. Alright. Got knowledge being generated. Building on fire. A strange town. Beyond the mist lies a strange looking town. The buildings are rotting and barely holding together. The inhabitants can be seen wandering the streets aimlessly. The hor this horrendous place must be Disneyland. 
I mean, it must be the source of the attacks. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like... What? It's like a different harbor. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Wait, it's like, it's like a parallel universe to our own. The harbor. The town is built around a harbor. One of our scouts is reporting that uh, tall robed figures are often gathering inside. Whatever their intentions are, it's clear that they won't cease their onslaught. The others must be stopped at all costs. Old harbor structure. Our suffering will end if the harbor is destroyed outside our territory. Oh damn, so we gotta go full military invasion now. Oh boy. Zombies? I'm not saying it's zombies, chat, but it's, it's zombies. Possibly. Well, they're sending an attack. I mean, that could explain the plague thing and all the other stuff going on. Oh, there's uh, ruins to search, too. Ruins! Cool. Uh, let's go with more wood and more stone. We got a fire. Right there. Boy, these enemy attackers are going to be relentless. Uh oh, there's a riot. Riot threatened. More than half your dice belong to the angry dice class. If not stopped in time, a riot will overthrow your kingdom and the game will be lost. What? Uh oh. Well, that's a new curve ball to throw in at the end on me. Hold on. I'm not ready. Mountain Blade videos are on the channel. Make sure you check it out. Holds festivals that can increase the happiness of a dice class. Oh, it doesn't have to be constructed. Prepare for festival. Three work. Streamlab just for you, you're epic. Well, thank you very much. Uh, 20 from Evo. Sorry, I missed that. Thank you very much, Evo. Sometimes those don't pop up. So thank you very much for the big O22 as well. Thank you. Appreciate that. Also, if we're not careful, there's going to be a riot. Okay, wait, we got to learn. Uh, building. Okay, so we want to do. How come I can't move things? Well, it's not active pause. Two ale and food. Okay, we're good. A peasant. Two ale. And some Wendy's. God, I hope that's enough time. Fire here. Hopefully that's enough time to stop it. Ooh. That was close.
We could have died to death. Well, we figured it out, though. Okay, we need more herbs to convert to Pinto Bless. I want to try a citizen to Pinto Bless. And we need another dice. Which is a good time. Man, these attacks are just coming in non-stop, bro. Chill out. We're out of wood, too. Damn. Yeah, that was a close call. We could have died to death. Oh. Monks can do gathering and other things, too. Ooh, monks are... Wow. I underestimated the power. Pine soul. Okay, I need more food, too. But also, let's hunt. Bro, these attacks are non-stop, bro. Need to build one more district there, and then... Pinto Bless does. There must be a building I can build for that. Oh, we got some knowledge. Let's take a look. Uh, religion. It reduces decay of the... Okay, so this is for fixing if people are sick or whatnot. Unlocks temple can heal a negative effect from a die. Oh, okay, so that's like if their negative effect being like uh, wounded or whatnot. The last area is brutal without a forge. Oh god. The music's pretty good. I agree. The game's pretty good too. I like this. We just gotta crush the uh, final enemy town and that's that, huh? Okay, we have six knowledge points. Ooh, knowledge produced by one. I like I like that. Gonna be here for a little while it seems. Okay, wood, wood. Not great that we found them in the winter time either. Sneak attack on the right side. Oh, this cart, this is frozen. Well, luckily, we're not really uh, getting f too many frozen dice anymore. That's good. Why did I forget to give you guys uh, food? Zoom's pretty cool, actually.
Oh, you can use the scroll wheel too. That saves you time. Scroll wheel and the uh, arrow keys will actually save you scroll time. Well, that's good. Big brain, yeah. Yeah, well, the winter's pretty much over. Here comes another attack. How do I launch attacks, though? I guess we have to explore first. Oh, we'll gather more wood. Council, the council is prepared. Proposing new laws for your reign. For coats, prosperity, or early training. Uh, all newly attained dice have one extra power to attack. Damn, that's good. Dice are immune to freeze that are used in peasant districts. House can be used by any dice for prosperity. Oh, that's nice. Well, we want the military one, I think. And I should make another military unit. Which is there. enough to destroy them. Damn, this is going to be crazy, dude. The amount of stuff we have to keep track of here. have the monks do some exploration. Enemy units will be spotted soon. Outside our territory. Well, I guess we have to explore first. Okay. You guys get back in there. Territory explored. Too close to foreign structures. Old mill eight fight. Oh wow. Okay, so now 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 it comes down to battle. Now we've entered warfare. It is now time for war. Do we have any military level ones? Mm, these are all just defensive structures. 
New soldier dice obtained from military academy have one. Okay, I should probably build the military academy. Yeah, we could use the forge, yeah. But that might make everybody mad. Put my military academy down here where it's safe. Oh, peasants are pissed off again. Festival time. Wow, so many fires to put out, dude. Oh, not mercenary. Man, they're hitting me with these fires. Crazy. Got to build our military camp. That'll do. There we go, finally. Warriors. Bum, bum, bum. Evil Genius DLC sounds pretty cool. We'll have to put a video up on the channel sometime soon. food numbers up. Yeah, they're going to start a fire. That's fine. completely demos it? Oh. Well, that's annoying. 
Yeah, warriors come out to play. All right. Let's check our uh, numbers here real quick. Okay, we got six points to spend to make the military ones more powerful. Yes, that one. We want them to have a higher attack. All right, it's likely that what we would do here is we would rebuild the district, build up an army, and then start crushing the enemy encampments. The closest building that we were at was this old mill. So there's some sort of a weird creep or rot going on. Look, you can actually see, like, look at the ground, how it's, like, toxified, or maybe those are stone or something, but it looks like uh, maybe they're poisonous mushrooms or something, but it turns purple once we get past this point. So we've conquered half the map, and... The game is quite cool. Unfortunately, I'm out of time for now, guys. i got to get going for some other recordings and stuff, and then I'll see you guys a little later today for more live streams and such. Welcome to all the new members. Thanks for all the big O super chats, and I'll see you guys soon for more. Thanks for leaving a like on the way out. Take care, and I'll see you shortly for some more games on the channel. See you in the next stream. Check out more city builders, including Dice Legacy on Steam, or subscribe to the channel to see more of all sorts of city builders and survivor games. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. This is a good one. We're just simply out of time. See you next time. Goodbye, everyone.